Hello viewers. Welcome to Gordon School of English. Today I am going to speak about important items to be considered when criticizing a poem. Oh, what are the procedures of analyzing a poem? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, there are sub parts of or, or elements that are most important when criticizing any kind of a poem. Below are some. The first thing to consider when criticizing a poem is to look at the title of the poem. Title is very important because a title helps readers to predict or to guess what the story is all about. And ladies and gentlemen, these uh, titles are categorized in two different types. The, uh, titles can be direct or symbolic, ironic. Uh, so there are many, many types of there are many types of uh, titles. I will not I will not explain deeply about the different types of uh, titles today um, until the next uh, next time in the next session. Okay, another um, item that is most important when criticizing any poem is form and type of a poem. It is very important to understand the form and the type of a, of, of a poem. And uh, when speaking about a form, uh, there are issues to consider there. You can consider about the number of stanzas, number of verses in each stanza mm, that is a form but uh, apart from that you have also to speak about type of a poem and actually there are different types of poems also poems like lyric poems didactic poems ballad sonnet or modern and traditional poems so you have to understand those things uh, you have to understand those things so when criticizing any poem consider about the form and the and the type of a poem say that this poem is lyric or just uh, say that this poem is didactic or ballad so that readers may understand uh, the poem deeply now item number three is tone of the poet tone of the poet and here we refer to attitude or mood of the poet it is very essential that uh, whoever reads the poem, uh, read the analysis of the poem or the criticism that you have made, know the tone of the poet. Uh, and the tone of the poet, ladies and gentlemen, can be of different types like happy, uh, sad, angry, serious, sympathetic, etc. So uh, uh, for any critique, you have to bear in mind that tone or mood is very important. So you have to... Uh, to, to, to familiarize yourself with different kinds of mood that can be found in the poem. And the, uh, to know the tone of the, to, to know the tone of any poem, uh, you have to understand, uh, you have to consider the language used because language is what makes tone become manifested easily. Uh, and the, of course, it is very is easy to know the tone of the of the poem i mean the, the tone of the poem uh, or of the poet when the poem is recited uh, by the word of mouth uh, but it is a little bit difficult when you, the poem is written so bear in mind that tone uh, mood uh, attitude of the poet is very essential when criticizing any poem now, item number four is musical or sound features of a poem. Musical or sound features of a poem. Yeah, poems uh, always always have uh, you know, different uh, artistic device, device, devices that help uh, the readers reach their message. So, one of those are musical or sound features of a poem. And uh, sound features of a poem can be like rhyme, rhythm, alliteration, or refrain. All those are musical or sound features of the poem. Uh, they they help uh, read. I mean, the poet to reach 
the uh, message. They are there to entertain or make the poem interesting and also emphasize some points that uh, the poet want to make. Okay, so uh, apart from that, we have item number five that is identifying themes. You have to identify themes. So for, I mean, in order to criticize any poem, well, ladies and gentlemen, you have to consider themes, themes, uh, themes. Uh, themes are central or main ideas found in any literary work. Or in other words, it is what the uh, poet wants to convey to the audience. So uh, whenever you are criticizing a poem, you have to understand what is the theme, what is the theme of the poem. You have to understand what the, is, is the theme of the poem. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, most of the time, uh, themes are not direct. They are stated. They are, in, I mean, implied. They are impri implied. Therefore, to understand the themes, you have to, under to, to, to understand the context of the poem. The context helps to get the themes. Context plus experiences, uh, uh, daily, I mean, life experiences help you to understand what the theme is or is all about or the theme that is found in the poem. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, apart from that, you have to identify the message. The message. What did you learn from that poem? Uh, what is the message? What, uh, what lesson do you get from that poem? It is very essential because good poems are poems that teach something to readers. Uh, you read a poem and you learn... You get a message that something is not good or this is good to be practiced. Yeah, that's a good poem. Uh, those are good points that you want. Yeah, so you have to understand what the message, what is the message of that poem that you are reading or you are criticizing. Uh -huh. What about uh, relevance? Okay, so point number seven is to consider relevance of the poem relevance of the poem but what is relevance relevance means a correspondence between the message or theme found in a literary work or in a poem for this case uh, with what is actually happening in the society so when uh, when the themes or messages found in the work of art or in a poem for this case uh, are also happening in the society, we say the poem is relevant. But when they are not, we say the poem is irrelevant. So, uh, dear viewers, you have to understand that if this poem that I'm reading relevant to the contemporary society or to uh, today's society, you have to speak about that. And the last part, ladies and gentlemen, is language use. Language use. Consider diction. Language use. You have to say that if the language used in the poem simple or complex, but you also have to consider figures of speech, figures of speech found in this work or in that work of art that you are reading or in that work of art that you are criticizing it is very essential so those are procedures of analyzing a poem or important items to be considered when criticizing a poem thank you very much for listening see you in the next session